What's up guys, I here, long time no see, but I'm finally able to continue this PHP block uh, video series. It's been a while, but I don't like leaving open jars, so I would like to continue with this and eventually get it done, hopefully very soon. Last time we worked on the entry PHP class, um, that's what I've seen from just um, reflecting what I did before here. Today we're gonna try and add an editor so we can edit and post stuff to the blog. So I have this, um, in my template I have two files, I have index and single. Single looks like this, so this is just like you're reading the blog, I suppose. You're reading one post and this is kind of good for uh, the editor page. So I think, okay, so here we see we have blog post right here. We have stuff right there. Um, yeah, I think I'll be using the single one. Let's check out the code first we have here. So there are obviously parts which we will put into some header. This for instance, all the way up to here, we can put it into a header class. Um, which will be an include, which we can do right, right away actually. So let me create some PHP tags and we're gonna say include, no, what we say, require once, and there's some background noise, I hope it doesn't pick up, I tried it and the mic doesn't, didn't pick it up, so there's some um, constructions going on somewhere, so I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have time this week for this, so uh, I have to do it now and hopefully it will be all right. It should be all right. I checked it. So let's go include header.php. All right. So since this is not a PHP file, we're going to rename it first into single PHP. There we go. Now it detects this. Now we're going to create a new folder, which is like includes. And here we create a new file, which is header.php file. And here we can just paste this. So once we run this single PHP thing, it's going to say that it didn't find it. All right, there we go. So there we have our menu. So if uh, we change something in here, let's say we change this to Loren, it's going to change in here as well. So only one file is required very handy in case you didn't know but I guess if you're watching this you probably already know all right so let's um yeah let's do the same thing for the footer there we go and the HTML tag should go there as well so new file footer.php and put it here there we go and gonna put this as well here whoops there we go save this and copy this and put it in here and oops footer.php and there we go all right the same thing will happen with the footer it will be included okay so now i'm gonna duplicate it. can i duplicate it I'm gonna call this something like editor or let's say create php create entry you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it create and so here um, let me remove the image it's not overlapping all right so somewhere there is the image there it is we don't need that okay let's check what it looks like if we go to create PHP obviously not much will happen but we should get rid of the image. All right. So <clears throat> what we can do now, mm, I'm going to leave out all the PHP stuff that's related to this. Should I keep now? Let's actually make like div. Um, let's do faster div class um or even id perhaps id oh wait did we do this did i say we do this in um with ajax or not <laughs> i i honestly don't remember i think i don't 
I'll review the video. We, we won't do any of this um, right now. So, anyways, um, yeah, ID. Oh, see, uh, I haven't been working at the PC at my PC for a very, very long time. So, um, stuff I don't do at work, it's kind of forgotten a little bit. So, let's call it something like create form. And here we're gonna put all our form stuff in. So form, action, what do we do? Um, let's execute it in here, I guess. Oh, no, no, wait, we call it create, create. Okay, create, PHP. And our method, which uh, is post. And what else? Okay, the code code folding is a little bit weird all right um, yeah let's say something like I don't know lab make, make a label tag and make another one for text area oh yeah text area uh, name title ID title all right let's see what we have okay we have a text area we can put stuff in and we can copy this part all right we can copy it for what did we have um in our entry class probably like author yeah author um title excerpt content okay not here but here um title i'm gonna put hard-coded author in here because we don't have a login uh, authentication, so we don't know who's using right now. All right, author uh, doesn't need that as well, so uh, either we just put author like this here. And the, yeah, let's check it out. And there we go, which, um, wow. Why did that happen? Oh, cause they are two of the same ID probably. No. Are we surprised if that was the reason? Because I put it in here, text. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got interrupted by the recording software and apparently it's approximately like a week or even more later uh, when I'm recording this part of the same clip probably, I'm not sure. At least the same sequence. So. I kind of remember what I was doing, so I was um, creating the create PHP file, so where we can create our blog post. And now, looking at it, um, I noticed that I left out the submit button. So this is what I will do. All right. So I'm gonna just create an input. Oh wait, we can again use our input button here. Let's uh, check it out. All right, we either don't have a button look. Let's give it the name submit as well, but this shouldn't change anything. And ID as well. ID equals submit as well. All right, uh, so let's see if anything happens. No, nothing. Okay, so... Wow. Um, well, I mean... Anyways, I'll leave it as is because we're about the functionality of posting stuff and not about uh, the look of this. So, what we can do now... Uh, this one should say create. So if we put it into this file, then we do it like this. All right, so what can we do? I could put some PHP into here, I think. So let's say we add some invisible, invisible input. Oh my God, why? 
there we go. Um, input type. Oh no, I don't know exactly how to do it. So input. There should be something like invisible hidden. Name. Let's name it post. Or yeah, publishing. Okay, so we have publishing, so we can check if. Mm, it said post. Oh, right, it's a post. So if it said post publishing. Now let's say if it's set, then then we do this. So if it's set, then we want to publish something, which means we want to create. Uh, let me check if header has. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have entry class. Uh, let me put it in here. So require once classes entry.php if if uh, we are publishing, then we create an entry and dollars. Don't forget the dollars. Entry equals new entry. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Please consider checking out and following my social media accounts. I have linked them in the description of the video. You can tell I haven't written in a while. Uh, I haven't written PHP in a while. All right, so we can set stuff, but could we pass? Um, we we could make a class which receives. Oh yeah, create new from post. That's exactly what we need. We called it entry as prefix. Let's see if we have it here. We don't, so it should be the same and says content here. Entry content title excerpt author. Title author excerpt content. create new from post and we just pass our post um, variable here and it should create the entry from post and now what we should be able to do as far as I remember how I did this is insert entry which does not receive anything let's go to definition yep it takes itself and put it uh, puts it in there now one thing uh, which i don't know is whether i have created a database for this and we should be able to see when i create this class because when i construct this it's creating this pdo so the pdo will drop me an error and um, this thing won't work, so we'll see that. Apparently, I could check for it. All right, so we have entries and we have all these properties. So this should be good to go as far as I could tell right now. We could drop it a try. I can't see right now because it's been a long time since I did this, uh, worked on this, so I can't really tell. Let's do a test. Publish, and we have issues because undefined variables. All right, so entry 17, 17, 17. Date expects two parameters. The rest is irrelevant. We'll check on these first. So author 17 in entry. There we go. Of course, forgot about this 